Thank you, President Officer. Uh, they say a week is a long time in politics. Well, only six days ago, I asked Keith Brown about a double rapist in a women's prison, and he stood right there and backed the decision to send this sex offender to Conton Vale. Less than 24 hours later, Nicola Sturgeon was forced into a humiliating U-turn, and the rapist was rightly removed. So what I want to know is this. Now that Keith Brown tells us today that ministers had no awareness of this rapist's move to Conton Vale, Will he explicitly state that none of his officials had prior knowledge? And will he publish a detailed timeline of these critical events, including all correspondence? Thank you. Cabinet Secretary. Uh, well, first of all, to say that uh, what we've just said uh, and the, assurance, the further assurance that was provided over the weekend does not of itself say that any different decisions would be made by the Scottish Prison Service in relation to those two cases than have been made. The changes which uh, have been announced in terms of the public assurance that it's Sunday does not change the Scottish uh, Prison Service's procedures. In relation to further information, I am pretty sure this is going to be discussed both in this chamber and in this Parliament's committee. I've mentioned already I'm writing to the committee. I've written to the committee today and I'm writing to the committee against next week. In the meantime, I'm happy to look at the request which Russell Finlay has made. And as far as is possible, I'm happy to provide the information, if I can, that he's asked for.